if you're wondering how to start your SASE journey, maybe you should start with your SD-WAN strategy as a launching point. In this video, we'll review how SD-WAN and SASE are similar and how SD-WAN considerations influence the SASE framework. At the end, I'll provide some practical advice to get started. Hi, I'm Steve Murphy. I'm a Vice President at ARG, and while I work for ARG, this video is my own and does not necessarily reflect the views or opinions of my employer. SD-WAN is a networking technology that relies upon software intelligence rather than static settings to optimize network configurations for your organization. SD-WAN is dynamic in that network settings change as a condition of the network changes or the traffic being sent over the network changes. While SD-WAN started as an edge technology with heavy appliances set at a client location, SD-WAN providers have been moving more and more of the processing requirements to the cloud. This trend will continue and we'll see all SD-WAN solutions being heavily reliant on cloud connectivity going forward. A cloud-based SD-WAN provides more flexibility and efficiency for end users. End users can increasingly use commodity hardware or light appliances provided by the SD-WAN provider at an extremely low cost. Provisioning of the hardware component can be accomplished simply with just a few cable plugins and configurations are automatically installed from a control panel that lives in the cloud. And SD-WAN services are provided at the cloud edge at, at a provider pop usually 10 milliseconds or less from the branch or user's location. SD-WAN's biggest hurdle early on was that it was designed for direct internet access but came with little to no security features. Several SD-WAN platforms now have substantial security capabilities but many still do not, so buyers need to be cautious when evaluating an SD-WAN solution and assuming whether or not it has security functionality. SD-WAN solutions that come with a robust security stack are creatively called Secure SD-WAN. Gartner developed the SASE or Secure Access Service Edge framework to address the lack of security in SD-WAN and for remote workers who are connecting directly to the internet without the benefit of, it, of an enterprise grade firewall. SASE is built upon the same foundation as SD-WAN, a software platform delivered in the cloud via provider's closest pop. A SASE solution provides mobile users, branch offices, and retail locations with secure connectivity and consistent security whenever or wherever they are in the world. It does this by offering companies a single centralized view of their entire network. This allows companies to quickly identify users, devices, endpoints, and apply their networking access and security policies, as well as uh, securely connect users back to the applications and data in a cloud or mobile environment, all while ensuring multi-branch and multi-cloud network security. SD-WAN and SASE have seen tremendous interest since the pandemic. The drive towards digitization or cloudification has increased across all sectors due to the compelling factors, including Simplicity in architecting the network and configurations, which can change dynamically as the context of the requirements change. Providing a holistic view of the network and users to the organization so it can better protect itself. Auto provisioning does not require IT staff to turn up additional services. And real-time application support is, a, is provided by allowing direct access to cloud applications rather than forcing all traffic through a security stack in a centralized data center. Work from anywhere and on any device. The location and device may change the context of the access, thereby restricting or permitting based upon that context. Flexibility of cybersecurity that affords IT organizations efficiencies without, without sacrificing posture. And enabling application level visibility to isolate issues and allow contextualized access, such as a zero trust model. Since both SD-WAN and SASE are cloud-based, orchestration and standardization is very easy to achieve through a single management portal. You can establish groups through your directory services and make global changes in just a few keystrokes. To optimize both SASE and SD-WAN solutions, you'll want to make sure that your service providers have sufficient pop density in the areas important to your organization. Of course, global pop density is preferred, but if your organization is regional, that's what really matters and what you want to focus on. By ensuring that the POPs are where your locations, employees, and other secured parties such as contractors or vendors are, you'll get the benefit of a distributed inspection of packets and policy enforcement. You can also establish identity-driven zero-trust procedures. SASE benefits include the bundling of services into a single solution, 
driving towards a single pass inspection model where packets are decrypted once and multiple security treatments are performed rather than decrypting and re-encrypting each time you want to perform a security inspection. The cloud native architecture ensures that this happens close to their uh, close to the user, reducing latency, jitter, and oppor opportunity for packet loss over the internet. By using cloud-based portals, you can quickly adjust the security settings for individuals, users, and branch locations. All of this speeds up network and security provisioning, as well as throughput. So in summary, considering SD-WAN and SASE together, you get the following benefits. Centralized management, more efficient processing, better throughput and lower latency, improved security posture, and lower operational costs. There are lots of SASE and SD-WAN providers in the market and consolidations happening at a rapid pace. So selecting an SD-WAN platform based upon a provider's SASE strategy and the opposite, selecting a SASE provider while considering their SD-WAN capabilities makes a lot of sense. It's a complicated analysis. And so if you need assistance, free of charge, I'll add, feel free to reach out and discuss further. My contact information is in the description of this video. If you got some value out of this video, I'd appreciate a like, a thumbs up below. That tells me I'm on the right track with my content. And if you want to find your way back to this channel in the future, the best way of doing that is by clicking the subscribe button below. That will put my videos in your feed and you can easily find your way back in the future. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.